I'm Mom Likey, your YouTube, and uh, all I've got to say about that is... Ah! Let's get started. Okay, so what the hell is wrong with Beyonce? I'm sorry, Sasha Fierce, what is up with that? Um, I've heard the two new singles, If I Were a Boy, I like it. Um, the other one, uh, Put a Ring on it, eh, it was all right, it's kind of repetitive, whatever. But, I mean, Sasha Fierce, she's she's alter person, she's Beyonce, for Christ's sake, she doesn't need an alter personality. But, I mean, couldn't she have come up with a better name, like, I don't know, like, Veruca Nasty, or... You know, like, something, for God's sakes. Sasha Fierce? Mm, kind of sounds like a bad stripper name. I totally don't want to like Dancing with the Stars. And I haven't. But, okay, last year I kind of got into it, and this year I'm kind of watching it. I'm totally rooting for Lance Bass because, you know, I mean, he's gay and he's hot, you know, whatever. But um, there's, I, I don't like that, the, the uh, what's his name? Um, the big black guy. Um, I, he's just, like, could you imagine being the dancer that got paired with them? Just like, I have to dance with that big fat thing. It's going to sweat all over me. Uh. But um, the guy that Brooke Burke has, oh, the blonde, he's so cute. Anyway, um, so I was kind of watching that tonight, and then, you know, the little Cody, the little 12-year-old little got voted off, and I was like, whatever, I don't care nothing about him. So I just go Lance, yay. <laughs> Not that I'm watching. Mm. I am, however, watching 90210. Okay, a little bit. I've caught it here and there. Kelly looks really good, and Brenda was back, and she slept with, I don't know, Kelly's boyfriend or something, I don't know, and the whole, like, you know, black kid storyline, you know, like, you know, he's jealous of the 25-year-old illegitimate child, I was like, whatever, I don't really care, I mean, it's, I suppose if I were 13 again and watching this, and I would, I'd be, like, in awe of these characters and think it was so cool, but now I'm, I'm old, and, ah! <laughs> anyway, but, um, yeah, not so much in awe, but uh, the whole Kelly Brenda thing, and and Kelly had some girls in the office tonight because you know she's like the uh, counselor now, and she's like talking to them, and they're kind of like, whatever, old bitch, and I'm thinking that's Kelly Taylor. You don't know who you're dealing with. She went through a lot of drama with Brenda and Dylan and all of them. Yeah. Okay, one of my girls is Heather Locklear. I love her, always have, since Miller's Place. And unfortunately, today she got charged with DUI because she has been... The poor thing, I mean, like, all of her shows have failed. She's not the darling of TV anymore, and now she suffers from anxiety and depression. Okay, you know, she's, you know, she's medicated. I mean, it happens, but... They're saying that she wasn't under the influence of any illegal drugs or alcohol. It was, you know, her medication, so they still charged her with DUI. Well, you know what? Fuck you, LAPD, because that's Heather Locklear. You don't fuck with her. Mm. Makes me mad. But I love you, Heather. So my BFF, Jade the Anna, translation for anybody out there who's old, that's her actually texting me right now, um, is trying to get me on this crazy cross-country uh, trip. Um, I'm supposed to be in Missouri by uh, <clears throat> 10 a.m. on Monday of next week, so that would be like the 23rd or something, the 24th, okay. And then we're going to leave and drive to Arkansas from Monday to Wednesday. It's a nine-hour trip. She wants me to be in the car with three screaming kids. It's, it's a Corolla, for God's sakes. I mean, couldn't even be like a cool car. I mean, it's like got to be a mom car, okay? So three screaming kids, nine-hour drive, and I'd have to drive six and a half hours, seven hours to get just to Columbia. So there's a whole lot of driving involved. Come back on Wednesday, wake up Thursday morning, Thanksgiving, and drive back to my hometown in Illinois so I could be with my family and my friends, and she really wants me to go, and it would be a totally fun road trip, and, and I'm like, I'm like, no, go, and she's like, go, and I'm like, ah, I don't know what to do, so we're still trying to figure out, she just sprung this on me tonight, so IDK, my BFF, Jana, but we'll see what happens. Uh, the other night, I got to watch Saw 5, um, and it was good, it explained a lot of things from number 3 and number 4, but it kind of felt like a filler for number 6. Because that new show on, like, VH1 or whatever, Scream Queens, they're auditioning the new girl to be in uh, Saw 6. And, I don't know, it was, it, it kind of wrapped everything up, and it made sense, but it was kind of not true to the original. And it was just, like, uh, very kind of disconnected for me. I didn't understand, and I don't want to give away too much, but there was a lot of disconnectedness, let's just put it that way. So if you haven't seen it, it's good, I mean, but I'd wait for a DVD if I were you. Something a lot of you may not know about me is in 2002, I was on a cable access uh, channel here in Chicago. We actually have um, one of the better ones um, in the country, and I did a talk show. Um, it was 
kind of like The View. There were four girls and me on there, and uh, we were actually pretty successful. Unfortunately, the show, we only did like five or six episodes. We did a couple of live shows with Collins. It was a lot of fun. I really enjoyed it. But it kind of fell apart only because of timing and scheduling and all that stuff. Well, for three years now, since I've been back in Chicago, I put off going and getting my producer's license at Can TV. But I think tomorrow I'm going to go to the orientation for it because... I'm feeling like I need to do a TV show, um, so that's going to be kind of interesting, and I think I'll be able to cross-promote myself that way and, you know, get myself out there, you know, maybe maybe Oprah will see me or something, oh, you know, you know, okay, so, you know, whatever, but we'll see how it goes, um, but the plan is for me to go to orientation tomorrow, and I will keep you guys posted. By the way, totally in love with Desperate Housewives, I mean, all these years, but it's kind of fading this season, you know, I like it and stuff, but, you know, who wants to, I mean, does anybody else think that Gabrielle needs to go to hairbrush.com? I mean, no, not pretty. Uh, the fire was very exciting, you know, that was a good episode and stuff, but I'm actually almost more in love with Brothers and Sisters, like, I'm totally addicted to that show, like, I'm just... I don't know, it's such a good chemistry. I like Sally Field, all, all the characters like calling each other all the time and, you know, just whatever. But I, I think it's a really good show and I'm actually... Shh, don't tell Desperate Housewives, but I'm kind of more in love with it than them anymore because, you know, they're a little... You know. Somebody needs to call Mark Cherry and be like, uh, uh, bitch, um, your show is fucking stinking. Uh, you need to do something about it, okay? Thank you. So, please, write to Mark Cherry. Do something. Because I just, mm. but I keep watching. Brothers and sisters, watch it. Sundays, 9 Central. By the way, for those of you wondering, I did have a job for like six days. And unfortunately, the job that I got at Ruby Tuesdays was a nice job. I liked the place, but I was not going to make the money there that I needed to. And so I cut ties because right now I'm making more on unemployment than I would have there. So I had to say, bye-bye, Ruby Tuesdays. Bye-bye. Anyway, so right now I'm still looking for a job, still unemployed, but um, keeping myself as busy as I can and um, just keeping my fingers crossed once again that something great comes along. I have managed to keep my power and my cable and my internet and all that on through the summer, but things have gotten really tight. Um, so November 1st, I may be losing my internet. Um, so I'm doing this update now, um, and I'm going to try and post the other things that I have as much as I can, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's getting kind of tight. So. I may be gone for a while. I know I've said that before. I've been able to pull out of it this time. I don't think that's going to happen. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, remember you guys can always, if you want to, donate through PayPal. This is not like a begging or pleading type thing. I'm just saying, you know, you can if you want to. So, um, But I'm just keeping my fingers crossed. Maybe there will be a miracle. I don't know. We'll see. I actually, um, at the end of October, went over 400 subscribers, which was great for me. And there's a bunch of people who just subscribed um, within the last couple of weeks. And I wanted to say thank you so much for that. Um, I can't name names because that would take too long. But thank you so much for subscribing. And to all of my subscribers, I wanted to say thank you for all the, you know, the rating and the commenting and, you know, just being supportive. I really appreciate it. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like I said, money's tight, so cooking with mm, Mama Likey is still kind of off for now. I've got a couple of recipes I'm working on that I will do at some point. Um, wanted to do this vlog. I hope you guys have been enjoying everything that I've been putting up. Um, I've been a little creatively blocked and kind of lazy, so but I wanted to do this vlog tonight because I wanted to, you know, let you guys know that I'm still here, I'm still alive, things are still happening. Um, just trying to work on some things in my personal life, so. I hope all of you are well. Watch for more videos soon. And if I do go on this cross-country tour with Jana and her three screaming children, then there will definitely be some video from that. So for now, you guys, thank you once again. And take care. And if I don't talk to you before then or after then, depending on my cable bill, um, have a happy Thanksgiving. And I love you guys. So I will talk to you soon. Peace.